So I recorded an entire video and then I was like, you know what, that video is way too nice. What's up guys, this is Tom. I make videos for people who feel hurt, tired, angry, bored, and just meh about the Catholic Church. I've grown up as a cradle Catholic and I felt all of those different emotions in the church. So I wanna help people not feel alone in the church and find a relationship with Jesus Christ. So in my last video, I went through this whole thing about the first reading, the second reading of the gospel and how it all kind of makes sense. And then I got to thinking, you know what? When I go to church, I'm just so spent. I'm so tired and I have five kids. So going to church is not the most enjoyable activity I do every single week because they're crazy at mass. And so I got to thinking, you know, what, what do these readings have to do with me? You know, I'm a guy in the pews. I'm worried about work. I'm worried about finances and my family. God, I'm glad that you healed this person, but what about me? And the video that I made is the exact BS that pisses me off week to week. And I was like, you know what? Screw it. So this is what I really think about the gospel this week. We've all heard that Jesus healed people. Today's gospel, they talk about Jesus healing a person that had a speech impediment and was deaf. And I know the moral of the story is we all have these things in our lives that we're blind to and we're deaf to and Jesus can heal us. But here's the deal. We're not blind. The first reading was a prophecy. It was a prophecy that said the Messiah would come to vindicate his people, to open the eyes of the blind, open the tongues of the mute, open the ears of the deaf. And Jesus fulfills the prophecy when he's here on earth. But even more so, when the Holy Spirit comes, that prophecy is fulfilled in each and every one of us in our baptism. In our baptism, the priest blesses our mouth and our ears, and he says, be open. That means we're no longer blind. And I know that you know this because you go to mass every single week and you see stuff that is just messed up. Now, hopefully you're not seeing crazy stuff, that, like, like illegal stuff and bad stuff, but you're seeing stuff that you're like, what is this? Come on, what is this music? Seriously, what is this homily? Again, Father, we're talking about it's nice to be nice. What are these announcements? I don't care about bingo. We're looking around at people be like, we're, we're driving in and out of the parking lot, honking at each other and be like, look at this We're like, we're, we're, mm. And, and, and for a long time, we've had a speech impediment in the church. We've been afraid to speak up, to say things like, hey, Father, what's going on over here? We've been afraid to speak up to the pastoral council. Now is the time for us to speak up. Jesus is saying to us, be open, go out and speak up. Look, I've made, I have healed you. I have opened your eyes, I've opened your ears, I've opened your mouth, so that whatever situation you find yourself in, all you gotta do is look up and find me. See, what's going on is that you are no longer blind, you are no longer deaf, you are no longer mute, but you have blinded yourself because all you do is look at your phone. You have made yourself unable to hear me and what's going on because you fill your life with noise. You find it difficult to speak because you don't have my word inside of you because you're not reading the scriptures. And so the truth is, if you find yourself struggling in some point in your life, it's not God's fault because he has promised us healing and he has delivered us from all of this. But too many times we go like this and we are the ones who blind ourselves from God. I think about relationships and we want God to help us, help us, help us, help us figure out this relationship. And what he's saying is, open your eyes to this other person. Open your ears to your spouse and speak words of truth and goodness to your children. We have forgotten that God's promise has been fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So this week, live the promise, speak truth and goodness. See the beauty all around you and listen for God's still voice to speak to your heart. I really believe the message for this week is God saying, you are healed. And everything that you bring to me, your work, your relationships, your own personal struggles because you're struggling with a personal sin of impurity or cutting yourself or self-doubt or self-hatred, all of this stuff, I have healed. But in order to take advantage of that healing, we need to recognize that God has this power to transform our lives. And some of us get that, but not all of us. And so if we take to heart that God does have power, it is then our responsibility to go out and share this good news of God's transformative power with others. And this is where I believe he opens our mouths to speak out to leadership, to those in our communities, that God has power. So this week, my brothers and sisters, forget the nicey nice homilies. God is speaking to each and every one of us and he's saying, you are healed. Now, what are you gonna do about it? 
Thanks a lot for checking out this video. I hope that this video makes you feel like you're not alone. Whether you love the church or you're in a season where you hate it or you're confused by it or you doubt it, these videos are for people inside the pews and outside of the church please consider joining me on this mission to make more videos like this by going to our Patreon page and supporting the channel. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed these videos, please hit the subscribe button and share this video with others so that more people would not feel alone in the church. God bless.